three of the greatest coaches in history talk it over prior to the kickoff. Bud Wilkinson, former Oklahoma coach, will be in the press box for NBC. Texas coach Daryl Royal, an all-American product of Wilkinson's teaching. Alabama coach Paul Bear Bryant, one of the greatest coaches of all time. Miami's adopted son, Jackie Gleason, busy signing autographs. Former Vice President Richard Nixon anxious for the kickoff. Governor Wallace, too. Bathing beauties decorate the end zone. Royalty, Petite Princess Suga, youngest daughter of the Emperor and Empress of Japan, her first American football game. A national TV audience estimated at 25 million, about to witness the famed pregame show. Nine bands, 1,000 strong, are featured, including Alabama and Texas. spread across the field, 110 majorettes strut waving yellow plumes. The theme of this spectacular is Portrait of an Anthem, depicting the birth of the Star-Spangled Banner, as Francis Scott Key, while watching a battle from a battleship, was inspired to write it. The story is told over the music of the chorus and the band. The battleship and Fort McHenry are portrayed with set pieces in the end zone. And game time in the Orange Bowl. Alabama won the toss and elects to kick off. Texas will receive. Alabama in red jerseys kicking off to Texas in white. Ray's kick goes down to the Texas five and Green runs it to the 31. And here we go. It's Kristinek in slow motion on a keeper for three. Texas ball, white jersey. Coy on a pitch out, over tackle for six. Longhorns moving, it's Coy again on that pitch back, around end for five yards. Ernie Coy, the great Texas tailback, again sails around end. For seven yards this time. Coy, six foot two from Belleville, Texas. Again, blitzes end, this time for four. After a longhorn punt to the eight, the Crimson Tide takes over, and it's wall over tackle for three. Novus on the tackle. Now, longhorn's ball after a Bama punt. Kristinik connects to Lamont for 11. Bama takes possession on the 21 after a punt. Look closely at this hard-hitting action in slow motion. Now, Texas ball on their 43. Kristinick is nailed hard by Stevens and fumbles, recovered by Doughty of Alabama. Alabama's ball. Bowman hits tackle for two. After Alabama missed a field goal attempt, the Texas Longhorns have possession. And here's a big one for the Longhorns. And number 23, their tremendous tailback, Ernie Coy, who goes all the way 79 yards for a Texas touchdown. Again in slow motion. Watch closely for two blocks, which made this touchdown possible. Also, Ernie Coy's quick cutback at the 50-yard line. The key to this explosive touchdown with seconds left in the first quarter. Texas made the extra point, leads seven to nothing. Alabama fights right back as Sloan's pass to Ogden connects for 41 yards. Bowman in slow motion over left guard for four. 
Bama's ball. Kelly sails around end for 10. All-American linebacker Nobis throws a block to help bring him down. And it's Kelly trying the opposite end for three. Novus again on the tackle. This time it's Bowman over the middle for two. After Alabama missed another field goal, Texas in possession. And here's an aerial bomb for the Texas Longhorn. Hudson pitches that bomb to Sauer, who goes all the way, 69 yards. Again in slow motion, this beautiful pass from Hudson to Sauer. Texas leads 14 to nothing. Alabama's sensational Joe Namath now at quarterback for the tie. He connects to Perkins for 25 yards. Joe Namath again back to pass for Alabama. Watch this truly great passer in slow motion connect again to Perkins for nine. Again, Joe Namath and a fired up Bama team, a quickie to Trimble for 11. The great pitching arm and finesse of Joe Namath, another strike, this time to Tolleson for 15. You're witnessing a never die great national champion fight back. Namath again in slow motion, faking beautifully, finding his target quickly. This time it's Cook for 14 yards. In slow motion again, it's Joe Namath dropping back to pass and firing a touchdown strike to Trimble for Bama's first touchdown. Alabama made the extra point. It's 14 to 7. Now the rip-roaring Longhorns ball. Hudson around end for four. Phillip over guard for five. It's Ernie Coy on that key pitch back, sailing end for three yards. Hudson goes back to pass. Completes to Sauer. For 15. On a keeper. Hudson around end for five. This is a very unusual play as the Longhorns try a field goal from their 28. The kick is blocked by Alabama's Gilmer. Ray recovers in a mad scramble, runs it, but fumbles when tackled hard, and Texas recovers its own blocked kick. After Bam is charged with holding, Texas ball on the 13, and Coy hits left guard for six. Hudson goes back to pass. Completes one to Lamons in the corner for five. Again, in slow motion and freezing the camera, watch closely in the corner this brilliant shoestring catch by Lamons as Bama just missed intercepting. Inspired by Lamons' great catch, Coy takes it around end for Texas' third touchdown with seconds left in the first half. The famed University of Texas Longhorn Band opens the spectacular halftime show. NBC Television and Alabama's colorful million dollar band now being viewed by an estimated 25 million in color and black and white. The feature 1965 Orange Bowl halftime pageant takes us on an imaginary flight to the clouds. Five floats are built like castles and 500 bandsmen form a musical moon at one end of the field. As we fly to the sky, we find five beautiful castles, dancing stars, and a musical moon. Star fairies guide the way from one castle to the next to reveal orange bowl princesses and a queen. Her Majesty the Orange Bowl Queen. Darkness approaches as the castle lights, the stars, and the musical moon shine colorfully on our trip of fantasy to the castles in the air. 
Into the second half, Texas leads Alabama 21-7. Longhorns ball, Kristenick on a keeper, scoots around end. For four yards, he goes out of bounds. The Tides ball after stopping the Longhorns and dropping back to pass, the brilliant Joe Namath fires a shot to Tolleson for seven. Namath again faking, quickly finds his target and connects to Cook, a gain of 12 yards. Bowman dives for two. The greatest passer in college football fires again, and it's good to Perkins for 18. The inspired Tide and Joe Namath moving brilliantly. Namath fires another touchdown shot to Perkins for Alabama's second touchdown. Score 21 to 14. Now it's the fighting Texas Longhorns, and Phillips finds a hole in the Bama middle for nine yards. This time, it's fabulous Ernie Coy up the tide, middle for seven. Bates on the tackle. Longhorns on the move. It's Derrick on a reverse around end, but spilled by Fuller on a fine blocking tackle. The tide's ball, and Joe Namath enters the field for another pitching session. This charged up tide team hangs on magnificently as the most brilliant passer in modern football connects again to Perkins for 14. Novus on the tackle. After stopping the Bama rally, the Longhorns quarterback, Kristenick, keeps the ball and sails around end for seven yards. Bama forced a punt and takes possession near the end of the third quarter. This time it connects on a jump pass to Cook for nine. King on the tackle. This come from behind national champion team fighting brilliantly. Namath races to his right, is rushed hard, but brilliantly gets the ball away on a strike to Ogden for 11. Seconds before the end of the third quarter, Namath connects to Trimble for 13. End of the third quarter. Going into the final quarter, Bama tries again for a... This time it's good. Score, now 21 to 17. Surely the most spectacular game in Orange Bowl history. Longhorns coy around end for three. Bama stopped the Longhorns, and it's Joe Namath's quick toss to Trimble in the flat. Good for 13 yards. Namath drops back again. Looks for a receiver, is rushed hard, fakes, and decides to run. Good for eight yards. The Longhorns bounce back to stop Bama. It's the brilliant Ernie Coy over tackle for eight. This time it's Phillips for five. Watch closely this unusual play. Kristenick attempts to pass while being tackled by Gilmer. The ball at the tides fuller at the Texas 34. Clock ticks away as this frantic last-minute block-busting cliffhanger continues. Fires one to Ogden for Ingar. This pitches quickly in the flat to Bowman. Good for 13 yards. Two mighty lines dig in to battle it out. Namath hands off to Bowman. Ogard for four. The mighty lineman gets set again. Bowman on third down, hits the left side of the Texas line for one yard, and the tension mounts with fourth down on the Texas one coming up. Joe Namath on a quarterback sneak, fails by inches, and again in slow motion, a close-up view of this great 65 goal line fight by the nation's two national champions of 1963 and 64. It's a real heartbreaker by inches for Bama, and for the Longhorns, perhaps the greatest goal line stand in Texas history. A mighty battle of inches by champions. Alabama's last superb comeback effort is ended when Namath's final pass is broken up by Doer. Final score, Alabama 17, Texas 21. And rest assured, the losing national champions, their great coach Bear Bryant and Joe Namath, leave the Orange Bowl heart sick, but with heads high as champions. 
Coach Darrell Royal and Ernie the nation spotlight and the eyes of Texas. The nation salutes the mighty Texas Longhorns and their magnificent coach Darrell Royal who upset a great 1964 national champion. Perhaps the most thrilling Orange Bowl classic ever played. <laughs> 